A Huntsville man will not die for killing his wife and son. Today, a judge sentenced Mark Stone to life without parole after he told the judge that he wanted the death penalty. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Naja Sherman. Dan Schaefer has the night off. Way 31 Sydney Martin has reaction from the courtroom. The hearing lasted less than an hour as Judge Donna Pate took the jury's recommendation and sentenced Mark Stone to life in prison without parole. His wife's mother told us that she had mixed emotions about the judge's decision because he was once a part of their family. He understands the ramifications of what he did. He understands that there's um, you know, obviously going to be punishment that goes with that. For the first time Friday, Mark Stone addressed the court. He told the judge he would be at peace if he were to receive the death penalty. His attorneys, however, asked the judge to be wary of his request. While he certainly has every right to address the court on that, I think the, I, think, I do think that the thought process is uh, compromised based on his mental illness. Defense attorney Larry Mercilli told the judge Stone and his wife Krista had no marital issues leading up to the murders. And Stone was a hardworking family man who supported his family and attended church. His attorney made it clear no one knew about his mental illness prior to what happened in 2013. It's undisputed in our view that Mark is schizophrenic and that he's suffering from a severe mental disease. Stone apologized in court saying simply, I'm sorry. Something his wife's family told us they had never heard him say up until now. They felt the apology was not directed at them, but instead at the court. The prosecution told us they're hoping the sentencing gives everyone involved closure. It does give me some, some comfort to know that, that he realizes what he did and that he feels some remorse and, and hopefully it's honest and genuine. Prosecutor Tim Gann said after February's guilty verdict, they were okay with whichever sentencing option the judge chose because they knew he would never be allowed back out on the streets. Uh, life without truly means life without. It is going to be death by prison and not lethal injection. In Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. Even though the jury recommended life without parole, the judge could have sentenced Stone to death. And that's because he committed the murders before a new law that went into effect that prevents judges from overriding a jury when they don't recommend the death penalty.